welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to transform sliding door ply panel, which generally looks like this. We're gonna transform this into a useful storage compartment, storage area. So please subscribe, hit that bell. Let's get into it. I'm just simply going to do a few measurements and transfer to this. I'm not going to make it massive, the pocket. I won't bother with the bottom because I don't see much point. I'm going to concentrate on the center one because this is the biggest hole, the biggest crevice, the biggest gap. And then I might make a nice neat one there. We're saying it is 55, which is that. Okay, so I've moved ahead. I've marked out the lines for the center pocket that we're gonna create. Now, I've used quite a thick black pen. The reason for that is, is so that you guys can see it easier on the camera. I would recommend using a pencil to create your cut lines and your reference lines. But we've used one just so you can see it a little bit easier. Cut this down and look at screwing and recessing the screws to hold this in. Keep this panel that you've just took off. Hit that bell as well guys so you'll get notified of all the up and coming videos. So the reason why I'm doing this video is just to show you that you can actually be quite creative and make space out of things that you may not have thought was possible before and also I'm not very good at woodwork, in fact I'm pretty rubbish at woodwork. But if I can do this, I can achieve this, and so can you. And that's the purpose of this video, to show you that yes, you can do things like this yourself. You don't need to be a pro, you don't need to be an expert. This isn't the best ply board you've ever seen because it was in a builder's van. So it's pretty tatty, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna be carpeting it. So spend the time, clean it all up like this. Six mil. So six mil ply. So what I'm thinking is screwing it to the bottom along here like that, allowing for the six mil so that then I can screw that like that and then we can build around. I mean, is it going to work? Who knows? This cut here is going to make my life hell as a non-woodworking guy. This is going to cause me some dramas. I'd imagine that's like a 45 degree angle. If you remember, we've got 6mm ply. We're going to drop this down 6mm to give us a ledge. And we're going to screw it in from the front face and countersink. You don't need a vernier, you can use a ruler, you can use a tape measure. The tape measure will be a little bit more difficult. Or if you've got, you could just use the ply panel. Simply put it like this. Where it's going to go. Like that. You just need to use what you've got. About six inches Just there. So putting a little countersink in the holes so that the screw head will be sunk into the panel and not raised. So I overhung this here the same thickness of this because it so now I can butt up against this I haven't got to go past it and I'll come up here cut on that angle and then go the same I've marked where they sit I've drilled all the holes all the way through I've countersunk the holes the other side what you can do is to make all this completely uniform if you now get the two opposite sides like this put them in the vise like that and then you can go over the edges. So therefore make this as symmetrical and as square as you physically can. We can run around the inner edge when it's done anyway, just to flat it all off. Try and make the nicest job. Use some wood glue, and I'm gonna wood glue all of these down to the ply board itself. 
and then when that's gone off I'm going to leave some weights on it okay so this is what it's starting to look like now we've glued all the battens on the back and we've screwed them in as you can see it is screwed all the way around and glued at the back and it's super super strong and up behind here there is sufficient clearance all the way around so now we're on to measuring the depth the same as creating the hole itself if the body is let's say for an example 10 inches here you don't want to cut the hole at 10 inches because you've got this extra wooden batten that we've put in and things so you want to make it 12 inches for example for example so what we're going to do now is you want to get yourself a straight edge like that now i recommend for this actually screwing your door card on so it is completely flush so it is how it will be when it's finished so put your straight edge across like that get yourself a tape measure and then go to the body measure to that inside line there because that is now the face of the ply board so we have Eleven centimeters. So we've got eleven centimeters. So I think realistically, we don't want to go right back. Can you see that? The top actually tapers down. So realistically, you could potentially call that a slight error there because if I'd have come an inch lower, I would have been able to go just straight. But it doesn't matter because has made this quite a bit harder yeah so guys when you do this you want to look at this tapered thing here and you want to come off the bottom so see the difference there can you guys see that little gap there if I'd have come to the bottom of there so if I'd have been touching the ruler then that would have been quite easy for me staying positive we're gonna get it done all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come down at a slight angle I'm gonna go eight centimeters so we'll transfer back to the bench so just for a reference these are the screws that I bought from B&Q so those are what I've been using to put this together and I've been using normal Gorilla Glue okay so now we're on to this point I've cut this the length of that and eight centimeters so obviously we've got this ledge which is six mil for the thickness of the ply so that is going to sit on there like that I've made these corner pieces to this length and the eight mil, eight mil, eight centimeters height. Same with this one. So, oh, all the way around. So guys, you should now start to see what I've kind of got in mind. Then I've used the offcut from this in the uh, the I've used the offcut from inside here. This here, I've just got to put it there like that. But if you remember, this is the one inside which is slanted. So this top one has got to actually be exaggerated, but it's got to be like that. Look at the difference from when it's sanded to when it's not. This is so it will all look like this. When I finished it and that way you'll get better adhesion with the glue the wood glue and the spray glue when I carpet this it's cleaner it's nicer it's smoother you're getting less splinters all I'm doing is using a hand sander like that a quick progress report it's the next day now and I've got all the sides done for these side pieces now I just simply made a cardboard template and then transferred it to the ply board. I've gone around some of the gaps look and filled it and glued them together with glue. I've been using the wooden glue as you've seen but I've now moved on to a hot glue gun. Just to show you so far, the progress so far, this is what it's looking like. I think it's going to look really well so moving on what I've done now is I've just run some wood glue all in the joins all in the seams there 
although we're carpeting over it I just feel it just finishes it off I've also put two pieces of the small box wood that I bought in the corners the reason for that is I have bought this rally car kind of like storage helmet storage net and I'm gonna cut that up I'm gonna screw a face on here like that so that then I can put that behind so these blocks here I've wood glued it to this and this to make a strong 90 degree corner and the back so I'll use those for screwing point for the front but also if you remember I've only screw I've only glued the back on on the faces because this is so thin I couldn't screw it but now I can screw from the back into these so I can screw through the back into that I can screw through the side here into this and I can screw the face on and now that is holding all that completely really strong and it's definitely not going to fail so this is the point that I'm at I've done another hole at the top for a smaller pocket and using this helmet net meshing screen whatever you want to call it cargo net using that I've cut it up I've got the elastic running across the top and this time I've made all these the same so the same process as this but this time I'm gonna when I fit these like that and like that I'm actually gonna screw them on top and in turn it's gonna be holding pinning this down so it can't pull out and then obviously the only bit that won't be tied down will be the top bit with the elastic on so the other side you can pull it and push stuff in and then it will hold it back in place because one thing that I didn't want to happen on this was anything like let's say I've got a first aid kit or um, a tire inflation like pump or something like that and it's in the door card but then over time it drops forward and it comes and it protrudes the surface of the door card and then I open the side door and it mullers into the quarter or even worse runs all the way down the quarter and puts like a key mark if you like all the way down so I'm trying to avoid that so I'm hoping utilizing this mesh top and bottom that should help mitigate that ever happening okay so we've now jumped ahead the year is now 2021 so happy new year to you guys as you can see for the top pocket guys what i've done is i've laid that elastic mesh kind of stuff down that i purchased i've then screwed these battens down on top of it with glue underneath also so this is now solid in place it's fixed and pinned down by the battens i've then made up this little box which you know isn't the best but as I mentioned, I'm no carpenter or woodwork guy, but now I've just carpeted that. That's one piece that is. And then what happens is that slots in between there like that. And then I screw it from the outside here into these battens, just four will do. And then that then has finished that pocket area off for the top. And I'll just glue these up onto the sides to stop them ever pulling through, even though that's never gonna happen. Okay, so I actually jumped ahead a little bit here. As you've already seen, I did this box for the top pocket and I carpeted that. That's all done. I wish now I'd have done the whole door card in one length of carpet. I was a bit worried. I didn't think that I would have been good enough to be able to start in the centre, come out and then do the top. But actually now I think I probably could have achieved that. So if I ever did it again, I'd probably try in one piece first. But what I actually did do is I made one, I did one piece in here, in the well. I've also carpeted this, which I've carpeted on both sides. Tried to do a nicer job, even though you can't see this side, I still tried to do a nice job. Obviously that goes on there guys, like that. But I've just carpeted this half here. And I'm just doing it in halves just to make it a little bit easier so I'm gonna move on now and carry on okay so this is it completely finished now so it's a little bit dark in here so I use my little low light torch to try and brighten it up as you can see the top pocket there has got the elastic on it it's carpeted all inside don't know how well 
footage is going to come out but it's all carpeted it's finished really well the edging looks great in my opinion and then obviously that main pocket there that originally was a mistake having to taper it down I kind of got the measurements wrong but I actually prefer it now I actually really think that kind of shape really makes it look really good and it just it kind of invites you to to slot things in almost because it's kind of tapered that way as you can see as well it's completely carpeted all inside the edges the battens that I put in have been carpeted apologies for the light but yeah looking great I'm super happy with it so now it's time to get it onto the van this is it fitted I've still got the door itself to carpet but I'm really happy with the results I think it's a great little addition some extra storage space which I will benefit from and I think it looks really nice can put a first aid kit in there at the top or a de-icer so if you fancy a go at this yourself or if you can have a go please tag me on Instagram if you've got Instagram tag me in on there and I'll have a look I love your feedback guys please comment below let me know if you've done one or if you're gonna have a go how you got on it drives and motivates me to carry on doing stuff on the channel here's the rest Just picking up the build now guys, going to start finishing this conversion off, finishing some loose ends off and uh, real, trying to make a real nice job of it. So there we go, I'm super happy with the results, I hope you like this video, I hope it's helped you to or envision or how can I put it, or inspired you to have a go or be creative with the other door cards or with things yourself to make more storage or to make your van, your camper, more unique, more personalized to you and to fit your needs more. So please subscribe, hit that like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.